Story time. Today I'm going to tell you the story about the enormous turnip. You know what's a turnip? It's a vegetable. Let's begin. Once a man came out to his garden with his turnip seeds and his hoe. He ducked and he set his seeds in a row. This was the farmer. He sowed some seeds in the garden. He cared for his seeds and watered them daily and the turnip seeds began to grow. In a very few days came little green leaves. They poked and they pushed and they pointed. The man with the hoe rolled up his sleeves. That's a weed. He plucked out the weeds. All the extra grass that was going growing around the turnip, he removed it. And then he watered his little plant. There was sunshine, there was air, and the turnip started to grow big and big. At last, the turnips began to grow bigger, bigger, and bigger. And the farmer said, So, we'll have turnips for breakfast and lunch and tea. And it's turnips for supper too. Thanks, doing. He said, so many turnips in the garden, we will have turnips for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even for tea. Imagine. One of the turnips, the best of the lot, began to take over the whole of his plot. That means there was one big turnip which was growing so big, it was taking the whole place of the farm. It kept growing bigger and bigger each day. And it became huge. It became enormous. The other turnips that were small just let it grow big. And it just moved out of his way. The farmer was so surprised. He kept digging and digging. But the enormous turnip kept on growing bigger and bigger. The farmer thought it must be time at last to pull out the turnip. So he tried to pull the turnip but it would not move. He called his wife, come on, help me to pull this enormous turnip. It just doesn't budge. So the farmer and his wife pulled and pulled. But did the turnip move? No. Then he called his son. He said, come here, boy, help us. So who all started pulling the turnip? The boy, the farmer's wife, and the farmer. But the enormous turnip just wouldn't budge. Then, the boy called out to the girl, Come here, help mom and dad to pull this turnip. So how many of them were there? There was, let's count, there was this girl, 
the boy, the farmer, and his wife. So how many of them were there? One, two, three, and four. But the enormous turnip just wouldn't. What was that word? Wouldn't budge. Budge means it would not move. Then the girl called out to the dog. Said, come on, help us to move this turnip. So all of them started pulling and pulling. How many were there? Let's count. The dog, the girl, the boy, the farmer the, and his wife. There were five of them. But the enormous turnip just wouldn't, yes, budge. Then the dog called out to the cat, Come on, help us pull this turnip. It does not move. So the cat joined them and it became a big line. How many were there? The farmer, the wife, the boy, the girl, the dog and the cat. But the enormous turnip just wouldn't budge. Then the cat saw the mouse said, come here mouse, come on. Help us. So the mouse joined them and they all started pulling and pulling. There were how many? There was the farmer, his wife, the boy, the girl, the dog, the cat and the mouse. And the enormous turnip just shot right out with a thud and a whack and a thump and they all fell down with a big bump. Everybody went whoops, ouch, meow and the dog went boom, boom. So the enormous turnip was out of the ground at last. Then it was turnip for breakfast, lunch and for tea, and turnip for supper. Supper means dinner. So the family had turnip for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and for tea. The turnip so good, they said. It's just so enormous that they kept eating and eating and eating, but they loved it. So that was the story about the enormous turnip. Do you like to eat a turnip too? Tell mama to make this vegetable. It's very yummy. You can have it for lunch or for dinner, not for breakfast. Try having it for lunch or for your dinner. Enjoy the turnip meal. Did you enjoy that story? Yes? Bye-bye. See you. I'll stay show you another story. I'm sure you will love it.